plants cannot move from where they grow. They are rooted to the soil. Still, we see one kind of plant in many different places. These are not cultivated plants, but wild ones. This is because seeds of these plants get scattered or carried over long distances through various means. This is known as seed dispersal. Dispersal of seeds gives all the seedlings a fair chance to grow well. Agents of Dispersal The various means through which seeds are dispersed are wind, water, animals and explosion of the fruit itself. These are called agents of dispersal. Let's learn more about each of them. Wind Seeds that are dispersed by wind are small, light and hairy. For example, cotton seeds and dandelion. The hair enable them to fly. The seeds of drumstick and madhumalti have thin, papery wings. These help them to float in the air. Water Plants like coconut, water lily and lotus that grow near and in water bodies disperse their seeds through water. The fruits of lotus and water lily have small hollow spaces thus enabling them to float on water. Coconuts have a fibrous covering. Those that are immersed in water after ceremonies and the ripe ones which fall naturally into water are carried to far-off lands. Animals Fleshy and juicy fruits like mango, guava, watermelon and papaya are eaten by us and some other animals. The seeds are just thrown away. Birds eat the fruits of banyan, fig and people plants. They swallow the seeds along with the fruits. These seeds come out with the bird droppings. The fruits of caltrop, shafla and mimosa have thorns and spines. The tiger's claw plants have hooks or burrs. These get caught on the fur or skin of the animals and even on our clothes and hair. Exploding fruits Some fruits crack open on ripening and scatter their seeds. Balsam, pea, ladies' fingers, geraniums, mustard and touch-me-not plants disperse their seeds this way. Wasn't it fun to know how seeds grow into plants?